All right, guys, and we're back. Game one of LVG versus Shaolin Raindrop. Gonna be right up in a second. Lobby is up. Everything is ready. Game should be starting momentarily. Just giving the go-aheads to the to everybody. Uh, we're back here. Me, Fatal Luna, once again with Sean DeCon right by my side. Looking forward to this first game of a best of three series between LVG and Shaolin. What do you make of this, Sean? I think this is the most hyped series of the entire tournament. I can't wait for these games. Yeah, these teams both looked very, very strong. Yeah, both these teams 2 would actually their series in very convincing fashion, so... I'm really excited to see these two teams go head to head. Yeah, I wonder if they've done their Looks research. Looks like they're ready. Everyone's readied up right now. We're just waiting for the go ahead from the referees. So it should be starting right now. And I don't know. I want to say five seconds. You know what? I'm going to try to. Never mind. We're going to go straight into it. <laughs> I was going to try to count down. But uh, let's just get straight into it then. So uh, banning first. I don't know if they're going to ban this rock, man. I think they're just hovering it. I I know I know that LVG did like to play um, Guan Yu and they do ban that, and I'm pretty sure uh, Raindrop or Shaolin like to play a lot of um, Lunaria, who we saw do a lot of good work for M5 in that first game in the last series. So let's see what what comes out here. And Aiden looks like he's gonna be banned second. Wolfram consistent ban in this tournament. Looks like it's going to be an Aiden ban. No, they switch it to Poseidon. Haven't really seen that much of Poseidon. We saw him picked a couple of times in this tournament. But not a whole bunch. Yeah, he's mostly been banned and picked. Yeah, I don't think he's... I think he's been more banned than picked, actually. Magicka, going to be banned here? Mikio does get banned. We saw how much work he did yesterday in the series. Uh, in a bunch of different series, so it looks like he's just banning, and then Cleo gets banned, and they know that uh, Shaolin does have first pick here, so maybe they're gonna get rid of this Lunaria? No, they get rid of the Freya, so I think that they're gonna pick up either the Lunaria, or maybe I know they played Lilith yesterday, they did play a bit of Apollo I don't know what they're gonna go for, I think their best pick here would maybe to go Lunaria, right? Or maybe even Lotus. Nope, they do pick up the Apollo, as I stated. They did like to play that yesterday. They like that front damage-dealing uh, tanky frontliner. And LVG taking notes from ATA, picking up that Lotus right away. <clears throat> yeah, Lotus has done a lot of work this tournament. I think she's she's really good for engaging and engaging fights. And just healing up her whole team in general, they can like stay in team fight. Yeah, they take those uh, drawn-out team fights, and it's just very strong. They do pick up the Murdoch as, Murdoch as well, taking a lot of notes from ATA, it seems, because Murdoch Lotus was the uh, first two picks of ATA as well in the last two drafts that they had. But a good pick. I really like this Lunaria-Ares combo. Ares gets his ulti off, taunts the guy. Lunaria instantly uses her ult. Boom. The guy's absolutely destroyed. That's an easy kill for Ares. Easy dual damage going to him as well. Una getting picked up here for LVG. And Burninator. Okay, I like the Burninator pick. He's a good frontline tank. Burnin Arborus and Flavia. We did see a lot of Flavia yesterday. And they're running once again. We saw this yesterday from uh, Shaolin. They don't run an AD carry specifically, a ranged AD carry. They like to run this Ares as the main dominance of an AD carry. And remember what happened to the team that they faced yesterday. They built all attack damage when majority of their, their damage from their lineup is magic damage. So LVG needs to take note yeah. of this and build magic defense. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they really need a range carry. Um, they're pretty much just going to use Ares to to be their their main source of damage and find picks, and probably just follow up on his ult. Yeah, fight instantly four v five. 
but a lot of their damage is coming from magic and i think lvg does yeah. need to build some magic damage uh defense because we saw other teams lackluster well, against Ra uh shaolin's draft yesterday when they didn't build any magic damage they were just get absolutely destroyed because they just built a bunch of attack damage good little tree sapling getting thrown out there just to put a little bit of pressure get some vision good d ward here coming out from des nine rukawa <laughs> getting this buff easily good buff by aries flavia just pushing out this mid lane arborist taking this camp oh he pulls out the camp actually to his tower Getting that free XP, but he does lose the gold, though. So, good wards Please. coming out here. So, Ares actually gets a, a nice little buff there. He gets the speed, he'll be able to roam around his jungle and get the mm -hmm. farm those camps faster than Dragos. Yeah, Dragos not farming the camps right now, actually. He's just pushing out this top lane with the defense buff. He can be very aggressive. Burnator does jump in, gets a stun off on Apollo. Apollo, not afraid of anything. He says, come at me, I got this shield. Yeah, as we saw yesterday, Shaolin... Sorry, I think you might have cut out. As we saw yesterday. Yeah, they, they do uh, utilize their jungle. Uh, to their their potential, they they like to roam around, keep someone in the jungle, and you can see like the 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 gold advantage already. Yeah, they like to play kind of a two one uh two one 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 setup, right? One guy always in the jungle, yeah. while having two in one lane and just having one in the top lane. That's kind of like a he has good wave clear and is usually a tanky hero, which Apollo really tr suits that trait really well. <laughs> Rotation's coming out. They might be contesting this buff in the top lane. Flavia was rotating up. They know the buff is up. It looks like they're gonna. Flavia is gonna push this mid lane and maybe head and make his way up top. No, they are gonna give up this buff. Or maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Apollo might go for a steal here. No, there is no chance of a steal. Buff is coming up on the bottom side as well. Ares is just gonna go take that. So standard so far, like not too much big of a net worth lead, but we will see what's gonna happen at this dragon that's coming up in 22 seconds. Yeah, just both teams playing really, really safe. We're gonna wait for this dragon to spawn and they'll probably go for that team fight, but. <laughs> Okay, good poke here. Arborist going in, trying to find this. Can they turn this around? Ooh, absolutely gets blown up. Una does drop. Arborist does get dropped though by the Lotus. Lotus cannot keep his teammates up alive. And Liver and Milka both fall. The Murdoch and the Una. Good initiation there from Arborist. He does die, but he basically <laughs> gets two kills for his team. And now they get to get. Now maybe they get a free dragon here. Yeah, I really, I really like these rotations coming out from Shaolin. Uh, right after that fight was done, instantly TP top. They're gonna put some uh, pressure onto the top lane. While these two they get a kill uh, bottom, and they do get a kill bottom. They dive. Oh, Dragos does die in a tower. It was not worth it, I don't think. And Shaolin gets a free, ta uh, free dragon. Yep. All I that dragon gold. Is yeah. Shaolin. You want to know what uh what actually happens there? That was actually I think you were mentioning it before. Arborist made a play right before Dragon happens, which forced TPs out from uh, Team LVG to protect their their players that were going, getting gone on. As soon as it happened, Dragon spawned. They have no TPs to go defend Dragon, and it's just a free Dragon for uh, Shaolin. Yeah, so Shaolin holding on to their TPs. They're they're trying to force a fight so that they can force TPs. And they instantly TP top, put pressure on the tower, and take a free dragon, so really well played to them. Yeah, they do They do get a kill on Barbarous bottom, but it wasn't really worth it as a trade was did happen from the tower. <laughs> Defense buff here from Ares. Just take a look at their items in the gold here. Ares 6.1k, leading the game and net worth. Closest on the other team is 5.4k. Dragos going on Dragos top Ares does get the duel and he gets absolutely popped by Apollo and Ares good pick there from Rukawa and Mizu and Mizu LVG gonna be forced to support someone bot lane they are putting pressure on Flavia doing a lot of damage to Lotus Burn here Burn here does initiate Radon Tarvis they are gonna focus there's the emote going down the Murdoch he needs to find a son Lunaria big ulti very, very low, but 
No kills coming out. Yeah, but they're just putting so much pressure on this bottom lane. They're getting pushed in mid and top. Top power might fall here if they don't TP someone up there. Well, the numbers are in favor of LVG here. They do have four. Where Shaolin does have three. Bobby is going to do a little bit of poke on the Burninator. They are going to back up. They're getting that. They're getting two free towers from this pressure, though. They get the mid tower, and they're about to get the top tower as well. Uh, LBG is not out of this yet. They just need to be a little bit more slick with their rotations. Yeah, I over agree. Apollo is initially on to Una, an easy kill. Gonna slide right over him. You might get caught out here though, then my return well, kill might happen. Murdoch does sign the stun onto Apollo. It's Four, completely man. melted. But I think that's fine. That's a great play from Apollo. Look at this. Now they're just splitting the map again. Getting another kill. Jumping onto Dragos. Dragos gets instantly popped. Good play here from Shaolin. Just utilizing the map, looking like the better team as uh, strategically. Ares does jump in, looks like he's gonna ult, he gets the ulti off on Liver. They're gonna try to pull up Liver, ulti comes out from uh, Lunaria. They pop Arborus, or sorry, not Arborus, Murdoch. Lotus does, he doesn't have a good ult here. She can't heal anyone, dies to Lunaria. Big plays coming out here from Shaolin, that fight was crazy. Really, really well played coming out from Shaolin. They just look like the better team in terms of rotation right now. Uh, like splitting the map constantly, putting pressure in one lane, splitting other lanes. This is what we were seeing them from th from them yesterday, and it's not easy to deal with. Yeah, just just they're applying pressure in multiple areas of the map, forcing TPs, and they're holding onto their TPs. So they force LVG to go bottom to defend bot. You're gonna see a couple TPs top, and they'll they'll put pressure on that tower and yeah, just if, disengage. So if you actually see that last fight, Apollo gets the dive top, but he forces three TPs to get a return kill, and because of that, Shaolin was able to get this bottom tier one and then force a fight. It looks like Shaolin. They're gonna be starting as a car here. No yeah. vision for LVG right now, so. They're actually making their way towards Dragon, trying to get control around Dragon, but they actually have no idea that the car is getting blown up right yeah, now. Yeah, I think they're just giving it up. They might have a little bit of an idea, but at this point in the game, they have no way of challenging that. They're just so far behind, they're gonna need yeah. to just defend higher ground, clear waves. And you're gonna see a lot of TPs and rotations coming out from the Shaolin. They're probably gonna head top to start this Dragon. Yeah, it start this Dragon. It like LVG really do anything about it. Apollo poking at it to make sure no one's in there and he knows it's free now. So they're just pushing in bottom lane and then they're gonna rotate to this dragon and then inevitably try to take this tier 2 top to just continue their goal lead. Ares is actually just gonna go for it. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Well, having as a car buff is gonna heal him up pretty much. Yeah, instantly, that's true. So. He also ha does have a lifesteal mask as well. Uh, so. <laughs> pretty good there. So what do you think LVG has to do right now to get back into this game? They definitely just need to defend high ground and let the other team come under the tower. They cannot let them get the tower though, so they need to just poke. But Apollo does just jump in, jumps back out. dropping the ult, but... That was a bad ult by Lotus there. That's what they need to use though. They need to use that Lotus ult defensively like that, but that was not a good Lotus ult. She should know that. Let's just uh, wait here a minute. Alright, Dragos. So they're just poking at both these towers. Very good play, very well played here from Shaolin. LVG doing a great job of clearing waves though. But they're gonna go right onto this tower. Are they gonna defend it? Murdoch does stun. Burninator jumps in. Burninator dropping really low. Apollo jumps into the back line. Blows up Lotus. Blows up Burninator. Four down. Shaolin absolutely destroying them in this team fight. Let's see if Una can defend this. LVG is still in this. That tower is doing so much damage, but they're just kiting. They're kiting the tower, and they're using the car buff to heal them back up to full. They're gonna go for this bot tower instead. Apollo's gonna tank. Let's see if Una can land any skill shots here. She really needs to defend this. They are gonna take this tower, so they have super creeps in two lanes right now. Are they gonna go for GG? <laughs> I they think are they are. Right oh, oh, oh dies! Let's give me a turn! No, good game! Shaolin takes game one! in this best of three series. Really well played out of Shaolin there. Just so much dominance. LVG, they were just, they, 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 felt be, uh, they felt behind in map control and vision. And they just couldn't, they couldn't take these fights because they were always getting split pushed and their TPs were always being forced to defend in different spots that 
Kowloon, they would just keep holding on to the TPs and TPing to the creeps and just split pushing them and just getting the gold advantage. So some of the issues that I saw from this LVG lineup, just not not just the way they played, but more so their draft. So the reason why I feel like this was a bit of an issue was their draft. They had no one that could really 1v1 in Ares or Apollo in lane. So when we when they were in those 1v1 matchups, Apollo or these Ares could dive these guys under these towers, which forced LVG to over-rotate players to get return kills and in because of that, Shaolin had easy like, split pushing towers. And we saw them do that all game. Apollo and, and Ares constantly diving in that top lane, getting kills under towers, forcing three, four TPs to try to get that return kill. And because of that, they have four bottom just pushing towers for free. Yeah, you would rarely see the Ares be with his team. You'd always see him split pushing because if they force, you know, if they force even one TP to try and go in, uh, to defend against the Ares, he did have that dual alt, which could. Pretty much 1v1 anyone, so they at least have to force 2 to 3 TPs to defend against the Ares, which allowed the rest of Shaolin team to split push on the other side of the map, or take objectives. Yeah, uh, good game there from Shaolin. Let's see if LVG can switch up their strategy, maybe get a proper ADC that's not a Dragos, and maybe someone that could just lay in a little better 1v1 versus these heroes that... Um, Shaolin likes to pick, such as Ares and uh, Apollo. But a uh, great game overall. Looking forward to the second game. Let's see if LVG can switch something up. We'll be back in uh, five minutes. Stick around, guys.